Let's denote the given integral by i. Using properties of logarithms, i can be rewritten as integral cos 2 theta times in brackets ln of cos theta plus sin theta minus ln of cos theta minus sin theta d theta. i can therefore be broken into two components. The first component is integral cos 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta d theta and the second component is equal to minus integral cos 2 theta times ln of cos theta minus sin theta d theta. Integrating by parts, the first term is equal to integral of cos 2 theta which is equal to half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta minus integral of integral of cos 2 theta again half of sin 2 theta times the derivative of ln of cos theta plus sin theta which is equal to 1 upon cos theta plus sin theta multiplied by minus sin theta plus cos theta d theta minus the second term again integrating by parts we have integral of cos 2 theta which is equal to half of sin 2 theta multiplied by ln of cos theta minus sin theta minus the integral of the integral of cos 2 theta which is equal to half of sin 2 theta multiplied by the derivative of ln of cos theta minus sin theta which is equal to 1 upon cos theta minus sin theta and in the numerator minus sin theta minus cos theta d theta. We combine the first and the third term in the expression above. We get half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta minus half of integral sin 2 theta times cos theta minus sin theta d theta upon cos theta plus sin theta minus half of integral sin 2 theta times cos theta plus sin theta d theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta. This is equal to half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta. And then combining the two integral terms, we get minus half of integral sin 2 theta times in brackets cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta plus sin theta plus cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta d theta. This is equal to half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta minus half of integral sin 2 theta times in the numerator cos theta minus sin theta whole square plus cos theta plus sin theta whole square divided by the denominator which is equal to cos theta plus sin theta times cos theta minus sin theta that is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now the denominator is equal to cos 2 theta and the numerator simplifies to cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta plus sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus sin square theta. 2 sin theta cos theta cancels out. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 and therefore the numerator simplifies to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. And therefore i is equal to half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta minus half of integral sin 2 theta times 2 d theta divided by cos 2 theta. And therefore the value of i is equal to half of sin 2 theta times ln of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta minus the integral of tan 2 theta which is equal to half of ln of sec 2 theta plus the constant of integration. And this is the required answer.